The Golden Rule by Eileen Cooper, illustrated by Gabby Swietoska. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. A boy and his grandfather stood on a city sidewalk looking up at the words printed on a billboard. Grandpa, what does that say? The boy asked. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. People all over the world call those words the golden rule. What does it mean? The boy wanted to know. And why is it golden? It means this. Treat people the way you would like to be treated. It's golden because it's so valuable and a way of living your life that's so simple it shines. Grandfather led the boy to another billboard further down the sidewalk. Some people put the golden rule another way. Do nothing to other people that you would not like having done to you. Either way, he said, it's a very good rule. Who's it for? The boy asked. You, me, anyone can practice the golden rule. A rule that's the same for children and grown-ups? Same rule. There aren't too many rules like that. Very few. And it's for people everywhere? Everywhere. Whatever their religion, people find the idea of the golden rule in their holy books, Grandfather said. Christianity says, You should love your neighbor as you love yourself. Judaism says, What is hateful to you, do not do to your fellow humans. Islam says, hurt no one so that no one may hurt you. Hinduism says, this is the sum of duty, to do nothing to others which would cause them pain. Buddhism says, do not do to others what would hurt you. The Cheyenne tribe says, do not kill or injure your neighbor, for it is not he or she that you injure. You injure yourself. The boy and his grandfather sat on a park bench. So, Grandpa, how can I start to practice the golden rule? You begin by using your imagination. My imagination? You imagine how someone else feels. For instance, a new child who is joining your class. How do you think that boy or girl is feeling? New kids always look scared. Would you be scared if it were you? Oh, yes. What would make you feel better? If, if someone smiled at me. So, to practice the golden rule, you would smile at the new kid. You've got it. I bet you can think of other ways you'd like to be treated and ways you wouldn't like to be treated. How do you feel when you're teased or bullied? Sad. Yes. Mad. Yes. Small. I feel small. Sad. Mad. Small. Do you like feeling like that? No. Neither does anyone else. The boy thought for a moment about the golden rule. I see. There are lots of things I can do. I should tell the truth because I don't like being lied to. I want people to listen to me, so I should listen to other people. When I'm sick or when I'm tired, sometimes I need help. So I should offer my help to those who need it. You're getting the idea, Grandfather nodded. The boy looked at his grandfather. Practicing the golden rule seems like it can be hard. 
I said it was simple. I didn't say it would always be easy. Grandpa, the boy said, the golden rule is a very big thing, isn't it? Very big and very small and very old. It's been around for thousands of years. Thousands of years? Well then, I don't think everyone is practicing the way they should. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many problems between people, between countries. You're right, my boy. I wonder how things would change if everyone lived by the golden rule. I think people would be nicer, kinder. They'd act better towards their family and friends and even strangers. What if countries lived by the golden rule? Grandfather asked. Well, then people wouldn't want to hurt each other because they don't like being hurt. Maybe there wouldn't be wars. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Wonderful, Grandpa! But you can't make everyone in the world practice the golden rule. There's only one person you can ask to do that. Me? You. It begins with you.